What to do when a bank denies you. I'm Tim Diesel, commercial real estate consultant. Today I want to talk about what you should do when you get a denial letter or a denial from a bank if you're buying a commercial building or a business. What's going to happen now, you're going to start seeing this a lot. Banks are going to be in the defensive and there's going to be a lot of projects, a lot of um, assets they don't want to take risks on. And this is typical. This is the way the banks operate. They're really it's not about you, it's more about them, right? Whenever a bank is giving a loan, the main thing they look at, and I tell you guys this all the time, is debt coverage ratio. Does the property, does the asset debt cover, right? So that's got to be, that's very important. Then they'll look at you, your relationship with the bank, your assets, all that other fun stuff, uh, your credit report, all, you know, they look at all of that stuff. What's happening now as rates go up, as the economy shakes a little more, they're going to be a little less likely to take risks. Whereas a couple of years ago, they were, they were a lot more lenient on a lot of things. So not to worry. And you'll start seeing this really roll out a little bit more. As we enter July, as we get those more rate hikes and probably towards the end of the year, uh, fourth quarter, probably you'll see a little more transitioning. And what I mean by that is, so the way banks work, uh, and this is kind of a simplified version of it. Let's suppose you have a hospitality industry, right? Hotels and banks have an empty bucket. And all of a sudden they start getting hospitality deals, right? They start getting hotels and a ton of them come in. It's not that they stop lending entirely. It's just they stop lending for that particular asset class. And they'll say, you know what? We need more office space in our portfolio or we need more multifamily housing or whatever the case is. They don't like to be over leveraged in one particular asset, uh, whatever that is. Now, if it's an SBA loan, they're more likely to do those deals. As a matter of fact, if you're buying a business, it's almost it's very difficult to get a uh, a, a conventional business loan. Banks don't like doing that uh, unless there's a, a real estate attached to it. If it's an SBA loan, they're willing to roll, roll the dice a little bit more because they know they're guaranteed to a certain extent. See what I mean? Now, an SBA is obviously a small business administration loan and banks, they take a little bit of risk, but not as much right? It's a little tougher to go through. It's a little harder of a loan to get qualified for. Actually, not all hard to get qualified for. It's hard to get done. There's so much, so many hoops you have to jump through to get it done. Ultimately, they do get done. They just take a while. Now, if you're submitting for a loan and banks can't come back to you, most of the time, most of the time, they're not going to deny you flat out. They're not going to say, hey, look, I need a 80% loan to value on an apartment building that I'm buying. They're usually not going to say no. They're going to try to make the deal work. Um, a good bank will. And they might say, listen, we need an extra 5% down, maybe 10% down. We're going to need you to come up with more funds. We're going to need something. They need something to make them feel safe and secure. So they might not want to do, a, I don't know, a 30 year term. They'll do a 20 year term or something like that. They'll do something to where it's better for them. So if you're, if you come across the denial, Try to call them and work something out. Don't just take that as, okay, I'm just moving on with my life. And you should always be taking the deal to a couple different banks. Don't ever just go through one. You should be talking to a couple of different banks. Shop the deal around until someone says, you know what, we can do this. This looks likely, whatever the case is. Um, and obviously, if they tell you no, move on right away. If they say, we think we can do this, don't fall for this whole, we'll give you an approval in three weeks crap. No, you need to know, hey, does this, do you have any legs on it or are we shooting for the stars here? The last thing you want to do is let two or three weeks go by and then a bank denies you. So you always ask them, hey, what kind of deals have you done? Tell me about what's in your portfolio. They're not going to give you the specifics, but have you done deals like this before? Really, you know, uh, have them earn that business. There's a lot of banks out there right now and uh, just be a little more, just be a little careful, just be uh, cognizant of what's happening in the market there's going to be a little bit of a shift coming. So hope that was helpful. If you have any questions on anything, please let me know. Thank you.